بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله one of the things that we face amongst أهل السنة especially in this time is كثرة الردود a lot of refutations of one another and refutations of Ahlul Sunnah between Ahlul Sunnah is something mashroor. If your brother or sister has made a mistake, then to refute the mistake while maintaining their honor is something mashroor. It does not mean that we always need to go out in public, make a video, or even write, but in fact, to advise one another. And this is preferable when it's between Ahlul Sunnah and likewise, to if the mistake was done openly, then perhaps the refutation may need to be done publicly as well in order for people not to fall into that error. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with thabat. The problem that we see is the way in which we refute one another. And that often, more often than not, it's done with harshness, sternness, uh, threat in a threatening way, often attacking the character of the person who's being refuted, regardless of whether they made a mistake, a legitimate mistake, or not. Because sometimes these refutations are based on desires, sometimes they are based upon legitimate differences, and sometimes they're based upon things which are a difference of opinion that is allowable in the Sharia. And going back to the asal of this mas'ala, ahabbatu fillah, is that we encourage ourselves and our brothers and sisters to be gentle with one another. Qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man yuhram al-rifq, yuhram al-khayr kulluh. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever is prohibited from being gentle, then they are, being, they are prohibited from all khair, from all good. The Prophet ﷺ said, in the rith la yakun fi shayin illa zanahu, wa la yanzi'u min shay illa sha'anahu. The Prophet ﷺ also said that gentleness does not increase anything as except that it brings about increase in good. And the Prophet ﷺ also said, The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily Allah gives that which is given by gentleness, or Allah increases, basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases good by using a gentle way instead of what is given or what is attained by doing it through a harsh means. Imam bin Baz rahimahullah ta'ala said regarding this, he said, Fi ahadith kathira tudullu ala anna al-wajib ala du'at Allah subhanahu wa nasihina li'ibadihi and yet khayrun asalib al-mufid al-mufida wal ibarat alati laysa fiha unf wala tanfir min al-haq Imam Ibn Baz he said there are so many ahadith there are many ahadith like this and he said it's an obligation on the people who call to Allah and those who give advice from his servants to choose a beneficial way with gentle ways of saying it or, or choose their, their, their ways of our articulating and conveying that dawah. That which does not contain harshness and will not cause people to flee from the truth. And then he said, وَلَتِي يُرْجَى مِنْ وَرَائِهَا الْإِنْسِيَعَى مِنْ خَالِفَ الْحَقِّ وَرَضِيَ وَرِضَى بِهِ وَإِثَارِهِ 
ورجوع عما هو عليه من الباطل وأن لا يسلك في دعوته المسالك التي تنفر من الحق وتدعو إلى رده وعدم قبوله. So then the Sheikh said, رحمة الله عليه, he said, and that the person it is hope it is desired that the purpose of this refutation is that the people and the and the the way of giving this refutation is that it will cause the person to comply. The person who, who, who differs with the truth, for them to have compliance with the truth and to accept it and to be pleased with it and to be affected by it and that they will turn away from the falsehood that they were upon and that, they would, that it would not cause them, meaning this refutation would not cause them to take a path or a dawa or a call which will cause them to flee from the haq and to that will not cause them to call to refuting the truth and not accepting it and this kalam of the imam is very clear and doesn't require any explanation and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم